Welcome back, everybody, to the React Cast. We are joined by two bestest of buds. It's Keith and Noah. Yeah. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Yeah. I don't like him. Uh-oh. Radio show. <laughs> Let's talk about that. They were um, cast as best friends, and they actually became it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about some of their fun stories that they've had together, and also crazy red flags that uh, maybe you have with some of your best friends, um, personal red flags. Uh, and then at the end, we got our special word from Anthony talking about his experience with friendships. How long do you talk to Anthony on those phone calls? It's like a good 30 minutes, I bet. At least. <laughs> That's so funny. Guys, what's Yo. up? Yo. Hey, what up, Kev? We're rolling, guys. All right. Oh, so all that? that horrible stuff we said is <laughs> going out to the world. <laughs> all of it. Look, okay. <laughs> including the his... names that were said. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> the specific Look. names. Cut that on behalf of them, please. Are you cutting right now? Yeah. <laughs> guys, wanna... down in the comments, let us know how many times we've been canceled by the end of this podcast. Oh, my yeah. God. This is going to be an interesting one. We got all boys here. No Nicole. Yeah. Boy town. Boys. Uh, boy boys. town. Boys. Uh. boys. No girls allowed because we're living in boy town. Take it, Keith. I... Boys, boys, <laughs> suck some <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Hold on. I, I thought that's what we were doing. <laughs> I mean, <Sorry>. yeah. <laughs> I thought that's what we were doing. <laughs> oh, wow. <sighs> Speaking of. Uh, I don't do that. Noah and Keith, <laughs> did you know every week Joe comes up with this, a theme song? He writes it down. Nope. And he plans it out. Nada. <laughs> Joe's like pretty meticulous as a person. He so is. He's a perfectionist. He wouldn't show up unprepared. Uh, you meticulous. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's my rapper name. <laughs> oh, turn it up. Oh, God. What is happening here? <laughs> uh. Friendship. Friendship. You're listening to a podcast about friendship. Hey. It'll never end ship. Friendship. Write an email to your friend. And press send ship. Friendship. 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 Ooh. I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> you love Damn. us. Damn. That's because you love us. I'm trying to make this work <laughs> yeah. on this cool ass hat. Dude. Look, I'll, actually, I'll take it. I got a haircut. There you go. Ooh. Hey. Whoa. Joe, yeah. this is how it looked when you first met me. That looks what? great. Thank you. We should talk about that. Yeah. yeah. All you uh, audio listeners, go to the YouTube yeah, take and look. look at Keith's dome. <laughs> um, <laughs> Joe's known you two for a bit. Mm. Um what is it now? 2015? For, yeah, end of 15th. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. Mm-hmm. Now, did Keith and Noah meet around the same time as you as well, Joe, or did mm-hmm. they know each other before? It was we all at the same time. Mm-mm. Yeah, we were all kind of hired at Smosh at the same time. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think, yeah, because you guys were you guys were picked up as new cast members before I started because mm-hmm. they were like, hey, you're going to help out with the new cast. And they're like, we already got three, uh, four at the time, actually. Yeah. And I was like, them? Really? I don't have a choice? And they're like, yeah, work with them. And then I did. I molded the clay. He really did. And he did a great job. All jokes aside, Joe is like probably, for me, like one of the best bosses that I've ever had in my life. Yeah. No, without a doubt. Most influential. Your timeline's funny because I, when I auditioned for it, they used your name. Bastards. In order to... (laughs) <laughs> like get people involved really. Oh really? My manager was like it's like Joe Beretta's going to be in charge and I was like well then I got He was it. like who? I, no I did I asked and she said you don't know Joe Beretta like he was like one of the first big like online creators and then I watched Jesus got pwned and yeah. like a bunch of other stuff but yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Then you still showed up. Thank you. Yeah. That's why I showed up. <laughs> I guess. I I'm, thought I'd make Jesus got pwned. I'm going to be honest. I didn't know what the fuck a Joe Beretta was. You didn't know what Smosh. the hell the internet was. I didn't know what Smash was. <laughs> I don't know how I got the job. I think they just needed a black guy. <laughs> just went, just went. still do. Still we do. still need still you. There. Hold on. <laughs> uh, so we go back. You go way back. We go back. Um, yeah. um, before we get into like some stories from you guys, because we want to talk about some crazy stories, me and Joe wanted to hit some best friends red flags, okay? <laughs> oh. mm. Red flags that, you know, maybe you can deal with and maybe you can't deal with. Um, mm. Okay. I've got them. I got them. You have I've them? broken up with a lot of friends and no one knows that. Mm-hmm. Like, what, like I, I try to keep my circle... St- my circle, your my turkle, my, dude. I try to keep my your turkle is tight, so tight. tight. You have the <laughs> tightest turkle. Oh, I hate turkle. I hate that I said that. 
Oh my god, dude, you got to warm up that turkle. Uh, or turkle. Keith ain't letting you, you in. Turkle is cringy. Turkle is turkle. Turkle is just as bad as moist. Moist. Yeah, yeah. Oh new moist. Yeah, it is. You turkle. got a moist turkle. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. You got to make a, a shirt about the turkle. Moist oh. turkle. Oh my god, yeah. the spit on that turkle. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Well, yeah, let's do the red flags thing, and then you guys tell us your personal red flags if we don't hit them. Yeah. 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 Okay, oh first God. one here. You always have to pick them up even though they have a car. <laughs> that was targeted. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I'll stick up for my friend. I, that's a shot. Yeah, I feel like they did that on purpose. Mm-hmm. Y'all you know, don't have a car. Y'all know I don't drive. It's not that I don't have a car. I don't drive. You but still don't have a license? I still. That's madness. Did you ever try? Okay, and I so, don't mean try to drive. Try yeah. to get the license because I'm sure at no, some point. No, I've tried to drive, and I'm not that bad. It's just like a whole lot. Like I don't like. <laughs> it's I'm not. I'm not a guy who likes more responsibility, mm-hmm. and it feels like in L. A. Driving is the hugest responsibility, and I already kind of got attitude problems sometimes. You know, my temper gets there, and I feel like if I drove, this is my excuse, by the way. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> if I drove at this time in my life, I just, I just, it was a bit at first, and now it's something that I'm like low key afraid to do. Truly, oh, okay. Yeah. Do you think you'll go your whole life? Without it? I mean, y'all... Uh, You're planning I, on it. I don't know. <laughs> like, this year, uh, at the beginning of the year, you know how you have resolutions? Yeah. Um, I was like, you know, this is a year that I'm going to learn how to drive. I did a uh, vision board... Whoa, and uh, beautiful uh, set with forty-seven cars. <laughs> yeah, it's all from the perspective of the steering wheel, dice yeah. in the mirror. I see it every morning, um, but I still don't have the desire to drive like that. That's so. So mean. maybe Jesus, white Jesus, right here, will come up in my life, and you know. Teach me how to drive. I think you should market it a little differently. I mean, <laughs> hearing it, <laughs> hearing what you're saying, I just, I just think maybe next time asked, and maybe on like a more important platform, maybe, <laughs> like, maybe you're gonna win an what Oscar. Hear me out. Hear me out. Maybe you're gonna win an Oscar, and you're on the red carpet, and they're like, "Hey, we heard that you don't drive, and you've, you've never driven. You know, Keith in ten years winning this Oscar. Mm-hmm. Why is that? The environment." Nice. You're probably the okay. most environmentally friendly person I know. You don't own a car. You don't drive and, a car. And that's what I was thinking, too. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, that's what every, that's the second reason I don't drive. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I care about the environment. It's so much pollution. You guys mm-hmm. are polluting the earth. You and know? did you know that pollution affects usually, like, disproportionate communities, not just in our country, but around the globe? The global south, I mean, is much more polluted by the rest of the industrialized nations. And it's actually legitimately f***ed up and, like, a really, really f***ed up thing. And I think you're <laughs> no. so poignant bringing that up yeah, in it's your not stance. on his shoulders anymore. No, ever. I mean, he's the only well, person I know. I mean, actually, two uh, that I can think of that are legitimately sticking up for what they believe in every day. Yeah, <laughs> we're you. really proud of you, Keith. <laughs> Dude, oh, you're dope. You. I mean, oh, what a God. goddamn inspiration. Right? Oh, yeah. wow. So I don't think this is a red flag at all. Yeah. No. This is great. Hashtag mm-hmm. Keith was right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to another one. Come to your house without texting or calling first. Man, that happened a couple times in my life. That's a killer. That yeah. I hate that. No, it's not okay. Uh-uh. Um, but it just depends. What are you coming with? <laughs> are you coming bearing <laughs> gifts? Oh, <laughs> that's a good point. If you're coming bearing gifts. I got gifts. KFC bowls. <laughs> yeah. Like tickets to a concert. Are are you still sponsored? <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I think it's wrong. Um, I had to stop a friend a few years ago. I'm not going to say any names, but we were trying to do a lot of content together. Olivia Sway. Um, no, no. Olivia <laughs> w- Olivia's never came to my house, <laughs> and I don't think she will. <laughs> I've been to hers, but Olivia's not that. She's like, I'm good. Um, I had a friend. We were trying to like do some content together and like just have fun. And she was just like really going hard on the TikTok. She was trying to get 100K subscribers or whatever followers on TikTok. And um, one day I was like knocked out and I got a knock on my door and it said, do, do, do. And Pork Chop never barks unless there is somebody's at the door. Unless somebody's currently sinning in real time. You feel me? Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) So I go downstairs and I'm like just about waking up. Mind you guys, I'm going through my cancer journey at this point too. So So I I open, so I'm tired (laughs) and I open up the door and the phone's in my face 
And it was like, hey, what? I thought we were going to rehearse today. Da, 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 da. Oh, That's no. next yeah. level. We're trying to make content. Oh, yeah. I'm so angry right yeah. now. Oh. And it like had my front door in the front, which wasn't painted correctly. It was an <laughs> ugly color. So <laughs> you don't film the door, the door the, Stacy. Like, bro, my doors are okay. So I'm my, my door is an ugly color. I'm not going to say what color yeah. it is. But you, it's don't, a, you don't even have a, a full... Hold address. On. It's a you got a half. You got extra. Oh, numbers. you got the half. <laughs> He's got a half. It's like that's just, special key. Uh, <laughs> my mom calls me her special boy, so it fits. There you go. I don't know what she means. Little half by a that. man. <laughs> I don't know what she means by that. Why is that special boy? She call me stupid. Uh, <laughs> she got me a, a necklace that says special. <laughs> is that right next to the one that she got you that said "Do not resuscitate"? <laughs> Uh, no, that's, that's a bracelet. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> oh, Brutal. my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, don't do that. Don't just show up. Mm. I had a moment when I was younger, though, where my friends knew where, like, how to get into my house. Like, they knew the garage code and everything. And one time, me and my family were out. And we were going to hang out with my friends later that day. But we came home, and all the lights were off. Mm. And I suspected something i went like up into my room and they were all hiding under my bed and came out and like surprised me so that kind of moment that's okay i like breaking that. and entering is great cool. yeah. that's entering. No. but but was that also in high school it was in high school yeah, exactly. that's, that's another right story stops. where yeah. were your parents we were all out together and then buried we came in the home backyard oh, okay okay <laughs> yeah. okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah i agree know it Back when you're a kid, it was mm-hmm. awesome. It's amazing. Yeah. Little Jimmy showed up. You're like, yeah, I'm going to go. Woo. And you go around. Same with high school because mm-hmm. you don't want to be in your house anyways. And you're always afraid of missing out. There's like constant mm-hmm. FOMO in high school. Yeah. So when your friends would just show up, you'd be like, God let's damn, party. Let's do it. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do. And then you guys just go like throw rocks at the side of a building for <laughs> really? seven hours. Let's start a small fire. <laughs> yes. Just yeah. a small. Tiny. So many small, small fires. White Very people small. throw rocks at buildings? <laughs> I, I could never do <laughs> that. Maybe in Montana. I probably did. No, we would start small fires, but in the form of we had a game that we would play called uh, Dodge the Match. Where we would all get the free match booklets from like local restaurants and stuff like that. Don't know if they do that anymore. This is back in the days of smoking. Okay. And uh, we would just literally take our thumbs on the matches and just throw them at each other like this. And just run around for three so hours doing that, like in a parking lot. Yeah, it. we're just throwing little fire bombs at <laughs> each other. Fun. It was fun. That now. <laughs> that, <laughs> fun. That sounds dangerous. It totally was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Got hit in the face a couple times. See, Good time. And then Noah's stuff. like, that sounds great. It <laughs> does. That sounds really fun. All right, let's go to the next one. <laughs> Hanging out with your significant other without you. Mm. This one. No, I think that's fine. I think it's fine. If you trust a person, if you trust yeah. the friends enough, I think it's cool. Yeah, it you should be. You should only hang out with friends that you can leave your significant other with. It's your. It's. It depends on your level of insecurity at the end of the day, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like, can you hang handle it with not just your friend but also your girlfriend your, or your yeah. boyfriend mm-hmm. uh yeah it's really on you and your hang-ups unless your girlfriend and boyfriend or and your best friend are uh, pieces of yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. you know it yeah yeah i can see a world where like if you're in college and like it's like some weird thing where it's like why were you at the frat like mm-hmm. drinking with everyone while I was gone and like hanging out with Tyler. He's my best friend, mm-hmm. but by that I mean like he was my roommate for a year and yeah. he like sleeps with a lot of chicks. So all like, Tylers you know, are the same. Mm-hmm. All Tyler, bro, don't trust a Tyler. Tyler mm-hmm. Hashtag Dude, don't trust with my girlfriend Stacy. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler Perry is a great man. He is <laughs> a great man, bro. Yeah. But you didn't know him in college. Tyler Dude. Perry in college, uh, it was crazy. He, he, was he joined all... in on our match fights. It was crazy. Oh really? Uh, and he would do all his characters while we did it. For in college, that's where it started. Yeah. Medea, hallelujah. I think there's like a rule uh, that you have to establish in your subconscious that's like, yes, I'm totally cool with them all the time because I trust these people and they're in my life for a reason. But then you got to ask yourself questions. A, if you don't trust that, you're like, what am I doing? Mm-hmm. And then also B, you do trust it. But then you're like, don't be around Tyler when he drinks or don't be around my yeah. significant other when they drink. Yeah. Also a problem. Yeah. Like that's yeah. not – there's no excuse. Yeah, just in there's general. No, that's yeah. just like – Exactly. I don't know. Dangerous. Uh, yeah. You're you're if you're you're hoping you're in a good situation mm. with trust and security. Yeah, then it, that's totally yeah. chill. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh yeah, you're hanging out with my wife, like before I came over, we're all gonna mm. grill hot dogs later. Like of course. <laughs> that yeah. sounds <laughs> bad. Don't know what that oh, sounds exactly. Do you guys call it grilling hot dogs too? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, yeah, my kids were in the other room the whole time. Yeah, no, <laughs> grilling hot dogs. Talking. I'm so happy. Yeah, I, I'm glad they call you daddy because yeah. they call me dad, so it's yeah. different. Oh, Babe, my. I got us a hotel room tonight. We're going to go flip some burgers. Oh, my God. <laughs> we're going to go touch turkle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I've messed up, and we're not going to keep bringing that up. Touch we're not, turtles. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Holy crap. Next just, one is planning to hang out and then bailing last minute. Mm. Well, I do that. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> we do that. Oh, that's for sure that's a red fine. flag. This yeah. is the thing. One thing about Noah. Can I, can, I, can I say this? Of course. Well, I'm going to say it anyway. Anyway, so Noah's one friend that I know we could like have something planned, or Noah just doesn't like to do anything. Mm-hmm. Noah would rather be at home. Yeah. You yeah, know? in my soul is Larry David. <laughs> Without a doubt. That's like the closest I can do. What do you mean by that? Do you know who Larry David is? He's like an old white man. Uh, yeah. yeah kind of. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, Nailed like yeah. white hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's an old, grouchy Jewish man. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Which is essentially similar, but like the stereotype <laughs> the stereotype you get to is different, but similar. <laughs> got you, got you, yeah. got you. Um, what was I saying? Sorry. I oh, that I always the last second get... Oh, yeah, yeah, he will, like, just cancel plans. I- I've done it, too. Like, we're good for mm. it. But, like, I just know. Or Noah doesn't like to stay anywhere long. Oh, yeah. So we'll go somewhere. Mm-hmm. We'll have to be somewhere. He's like, you know, I only got 30 minutes. I said, bro, you have 10. <laughs> and, and I'm like, he, good idea. And he leaves in nine. <laughs> yeah. And I know it's coming. He's like, yo, dude, I got to go. It's like, bro, you're going home. You're not going anywhere. Oh, let me talk about this. I'll never forget we were at some, like, event where we were watching a movie. It was me, you, Olivia, and it wasn't, like, a big movie premiere, but it was, like, some type of something. And you ended up leaving, like, ten minutes into it, and I'm like, what the hell? Like, why are you leaving? Like, we should at least, like, experience this together. And he was just not about it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that was one of the times that made me mad, because mm-hmm. you left me with your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> And what's wrong with his cousin? His cousin is great. Oh. His cousin is great, but you're not about to leave me. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about now. Uh-oh. I haven't thought about this in a while. I think that might have been James Franco's Oz. <laughs> I think that might have been James Franco's Oz, for real. Well, who just leaves somebody with their cousin? I don't know, maybe a different hot air balloon movie. <laughs> there was a hot air balloon. No, I didn't even pay attention to the movie. I was just, I was too pissed that you let me with your cousin. <laughs> Who's great, by the way. But you don't know him. I don't know him like that. It was like, Noah doesn't either. He's like, <laughs> the funny thing about I, Noah's I, cousin is he's Asian, so I don't even believe they're cousins for real. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that guy? We love Spider you, Devin. Cousin. Devin. No. <laughs> he is. We love him. He's Devin. really friendly and nice. I'm sure you guys had a fine time, but oh, I no, agree. I did leave. You just left. It's I just like, leave. come on, bro. Like, this is the bro, first I probably gave you a good, like, 10, 20 second head start. I was probably like, bro, I'm going to leave yeah. now. Like, yeah, <laughs> yes, and he was he's gone. going for it. I told yeah, you, I gave you the time it took me to get up. He and, like, said scoot. thirty minutes, and I said ten. He left at nine. You yeah. know, I think that's a fair compromise. <laughs> uh, I think the the same thing applies here, but reversed. I would say, when I was in high school or when you're younger, it really mattered more when people would drop out because again, that FOMO it thing—you like don't want to be at home. Yeah. You really want to. Yeah. Your friends are your family more mm-hmm. than anything else at that time in your life, and. When you're older, you just don't want to do stuff as much. Yeah, <laughs> and but like, I also and you understand. You're just like whatever. Exactly. I would say like a great friendship is somebody who totally gets that. Like gets yeah. that. Like oh, it's not that they hate me that they don't. Yeah. Yeah, I understand it. I mean, if you leave me with your cousin a few times, then I'm gonna yeah. get it sooner or later. <laughs> so, like, right. It's also <laughs> like just... we didn't pay to be there. You know, like you know, we didn't plan it six months in advance. We're not in another country. It's we didn't a, no, like. I didn't cancel a, a cruise. Just admit it's a character flaw. It. I will gladly. That's my Shakespearean character flaw. One of several. Okay, let's do one more red flag here. Constantly on their phone. This is tough. Okay, I just my phone fell in the sewer recently, and I'm constantly back on this bitch. Dude. When I when I tell Can you. you if somebody wants to be on their phone, let them. Then the only reason I say that is because I had a whole week and a half without one, and I deserve to be on my phone as much as I want. And who's gonna check me, Keith? How did this happen? How did it I was fall getting out the, the car sewer? and it just oh, fell it just down? Fell? Yes, oh, nightmare. I, I didn't have it in my pocket, and I'm getting out of the car, and it was sitting on my lap, and I said whoop, and it said whoop. Oh no! Wow. It teased you. It was like I'm fine. Yes, F- you. Yeah, yeah. yes it was, was unbelievable. That in, in Hollywood. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, the worst sewer. Yeah. You're not going <laughs> to. Yeah. You don't want that. I back. think. Was it? It might have been downtown. I don't uh, remember. I know. <laughs> I do not tend to agree. It's it's part of culture now, but it still annoys me on an attention level mm. situation. If you're hanging out with a group of people, you guys don't like the person that's sitting in the corner while you guys are having yeah. involved conversations and laughing. And then there's just somebody. <laughs> nip, 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 nip. Is that that's you every time? <laughs> Remember yeah. when we first joined Smosh? I would like literally be in a corner by myself. But you but, hated everybody. But <laughs> <laughs> I did not, Joe. <laughs> Do not. I just, I am very, I don't know. Like, I don't want to say, like, I'm a loner. <laughs> like, that's really He didn't good. hate everybody. Right, right. But it's, it's more so, like, I do, like, we spent so much time together, like, us talking about. That's different, though. Yeah, you, you know needed a, I mean? you guys needed a reprieve from yeah. each other. Yeah. For sure. Because we sense. didn't have it at all. Yeah, I also think opposite of that, like, red flag of not necessarily paying attention because like at like a dinner or something it's mm-hmm. like okay we something's happening i definitely think for me like definitely a, a green flag like that definitely we got are, along are with we at the beginning green flags <laughs> yeah we i'm are. changing it now <laughs> oh. the idea that we can like sit in the same space in silence was like a super oh, yeah. green that's yeah. like that was that's yeah. what that's what noah and i used to do so uh after we left from smosh after like a long day or a half day when we showed up <laughs> okay. sorry joe <laughs> um, Noah would come over and we like hang out and like I would like fall asleep and Noah would be on the other couch and I'd wake up and Noah's just watching some Dude, like that's stupid best. Nickelodeon show like Henry yeah. Danger watching Shane <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like we wouldn't talk <laughs> and it's just like I'll be on my phone yep. he'd be yeah. like just existing together yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. That's, and mm. I think that's different that's an understanding of vibe that's an understanding of moment mm. but if somebody's like if I'm trying to connect with somebody and, and they yeah. won't even look up and make eye contact with mm. me yeah. that's or disrespectful. it's the first time we've hung out in a long time mm. yeah then it's I, yeah, I can't stand it and I see that happen with some of my kids sometimes and their friends and I'm like yeah. this is how you're spending your time together that sucks yeah, yeah. alright any uh, personal red flags you guys got uh, really really long text messages messages after just like a simple hanging out or something that completely portrays the events as if they were something different you ever had oh, oh like on, explain that. that's some specific like, yeah like i have had a friend i've had a multiple which is now why i'm like oh these are the types of people that you don't hang out with because i like meeting people and i used to not just like no, meeting you people but like, to like meet meeting friend. people bro i used to hang out like oh you're the person oh, at the drive through talking like, about 10 years ago yeah we're like <laughs> i'm friendly with you oh yeah. you want to hang out sure mm-hmm. you know what i yeah. mean because like why not that's funny to me and not funny as in like you as a person but just the whole interaction this might be fun yeah now i learned that there's a reason why you don't like do things like that or like you don't talk to like the random homeless person and really become their friend you know, oh, are you trying to? Are you talking about me? And what <laughs> no, I I'm not. I'm just my own personal experience. One time, I got a really fun CD out of it of their music, and I thought, oh, this is great. And then another time, I gave someone a ride, and I will never again do anything like that ever. Oh, See, that's oh, like wow. you had an experience. Yeah. yeah, but sorry, just like going back to the text message thing, just like. I, it's just like so. You're saying like you hang out with somebody, yeah. Something maybe it's in a normal group of friends. Time. Yeah, we're all hanging out. We hung out at your house. It's great. And then at the end, it's like, hey, I thought it was like. Oh. Kind of rude how you guys all were like, kind of came uh, over and like ate all the happened. chips and like watched Ew. the movie, but then yep. like didn't listen to me when I was talking about how I really wanted to like maybe date the person I work with. And yep. it's like, I remember I was talking about that for an hour, but like, yeah, and then we watched the movie and ate the chips. Like, yeah. what is, <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I have one, I have a couple. Um, Weird. Six flags. <laughs> Six flags. <laughs> Six flags. Um, so. A red flag for me, which I like recently, I knew, but you know, you try to get people the benefit of the doubt. Someone who is friends with someone that doesn't like you or that talks crap about you, and they're like best friends with you and that person. Yeah. Oh, yep. It's like, it's a, like, because one thing, like, why do I know their personal information? I don't ask for it. No. Come to find out, you're telling my personal information yeah. as well. Yeah. And, you know, um, it's, certain things have happened within the past few years, even while I was sick, where, like, just I got to see it for what it was. Like, bought somebody a ticket to come with, stay with me for a little bit. And I wanted to. It was right after I got my biopsy. I got my biopsy, and somebody came to take care of me and chill with me. He's a really great friend of mine. You know what I'm talking about. And, um it was at one point I could barely move, but like I still wanted to kind of do stuff. 
and they were like, uh, they were like, so I'm going to blah 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 to do this. I was like, I want to go. Yeah. They were like, no, you can't go. I'm like, hold on, mm. I just I bought your this. ticket. Yeah. No, you can't go. I'm like, what? Why? Because so and so is going to be there. So you didn't tell me that Damn. you were going to go. I got you a ticket out here. But, like, why don't you really want me to go? Because you have created a divide in between me and somebody, which, like, th- this person has talked about me. You know, I'm the other, on the other hand, I'm like, I don't even care what this person does in their life, their private life, whatever. Yeah. But, like, come to find out just with years passing, I finally found out. I was like, oh, yeah, like, they said this about you, or this was mm-hmm. said, and that was said. And I'm like, oh, those are very personal things yeah. that I would just never, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, why? I do also I do know a lot of their shit, so like why wasn't I expecting it? Um what was my other one? I had another one, Joe. You should probably go though. <laughs> well you told me before it was white people. <laughs> <laughs> hate them, hate all of you. I hate all of you. <laughs> I don't think it's like a like necessarily just a best friend flag, but just like over constantly overly aggressive aggro people that are always looking for confrontation. Negativity. Or well negativity is like in another bucket, but like a con- like always looking to fight, always looking not just oh. verbally but physically. Yeah. I'm just like I not in that. Alpha Dude, bro that's me culture. On the <laughs> no way. Dude, he does cage boxing. <laughs> oh, you yeah. think I did. Yeah. But he pl- he goes somewhere where they don't do it by weight, they do it by height. So <laughs> well, they do it by type of cancer that you had. <laughs> As yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, you bunch of <laughs> It's in the Keck Medical Building. <laughs> that's actually where I got my I know. Surgery. Dude, that's insane. <laughs> that's a, shout out to USC, my oh. doctors. They were really good to me. Good Lord. That's where my wife got. Yeah. Really? Did you Whoa. fight my wife yet? <laughs> no. No, she's next. She kicked your ass, dude. Dude, she brings a shiv. <laughs> Uh, it's a rib that they took out. Oh, <laughs> no, they just no. poke it. Yeah, that's why it's legal. That's why it's legal. It's not a weapon. It's her body. It's her body. <laughs> yeah, super aggro. Nope, I don't need it. I just, it's just, it's a, it's a personality trait that I just can't stand because I also don't want to be brought into your bullshit and I don't want to mm-hmm. be connected to that because it's eventually going to lead to something uh, between us or between other people and mm-hmm. I, I just don't need it. But negativity is a good one too. Constant Debbie Downers. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm an I'm an empath, and I will do my best to feel what you're feeling, and I will probably give you way too much of the benefit of the doubt mm-hmm. to my detriment sometimes. But that is just drain, like a vampire, like well, a psychic vampire, yeah. like they say, just somebody that's taking the piss out of the room all the time. You you know, people say that they're empaths. I truly feel like Joe is one. Oh, he is. Yeah, he is. yeah. empath like, means white, right? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yep. You got that. No, but like truly, I've met people that like are a little problematic. You know, that have good hearts, but like sometimes are problematic. Like I wouldn't call myself an empath at this point in my life. <laughs> like I used to think I was one. And I was like, nah, because <laughs> I want to fight. <laughs> I might be who you hate, Joe. <laughs> you're definitely not that person. You might want to be, oh, yeah. but you're not. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh, uh, adjacent to, because I'm not like uh, eternal pessimist. I'm like logical cynic stuck in the corner that like needs another energy to get me out of a t- like a spiral. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like very much a black hole of like, yeah, this is – just what you I call see. Call him black. <laughs> Your hole. <laughs> what, dude, it is the lightest part of his body. <laughs> Actually, I don't understand. Can I just say this? Yeah. Why are butts like buttholes darker than the rest? Of the- <laughs> sorry, sorry. It sorry. is confusing, right? Yeah, it's like you ain't getting no sun. That's what I mean. <laughs> wow. Just in a tanning bed. Just I think butthole. it's probably like God or whatever creator was like. We gotta show them that that's different. Different. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. This isn't a normal hole. <laughs> like, yeah. You know what you did with the snake and how you gave those warning colors? We should probably do that with the buttholes. <laughs> uh, Any more red flags? I feel like we covered the I think the we've red flagged it up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, Keith and Noah. I wanted to prompt you guys on some best stories, crazy stories that you guys have had together. And you said you had a couple. Any that you want to drop for us? Um, you, you should start. Okay, well, what I'm going to start with is not at all answering that question. It's what I've been distracted with the whole time. This snail needs a little hat. Oh. It's the whole time. Dude, I can get Someone a needs to knit a Well, small... that's a big hat. <laughs> oh. But like this, if it was little, that would be... I can get that for you. Yeah, that'd be... Because this has glasses. You know what? what? It what needs a hat. Oh, oh, you're Joe's making a gonna hat. Joe's going to make a hat with a bottle cap. Thank you. Makeshift hat. Now I won't be distracted anymore. Oh, it's a beret. Oh, oh my God. It's a towel. 
French? Kid. I don't French know. French Italian. I, I never traveled outside. Resistance. Wee wee. It's a top hat. It's a yeah. top hat. Bad hat. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I'll start with uh, my favorite classic one, uh, which is that time that we met Katie Couric. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah! During VidCon, what yeah. year was that? That was our first VidCon. Or I think it was sixteen. Let's start out how the story really started out. So mm-hmm. we were running like in the the, the hallways of the hotel okay. before they split. They used to sell tickets to VidCon, like VIP extra ones that would get you a hotel room. And a selling right. point was that it was the same hotel right. that they put creators in, mm-hmm. just a different floor, and that meant all the elevators were always full. Was nothing was safe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was actually scary. Yeah. Yeah. So we're running through the hallways, and we ended up – we didn't know where we were going. We were kind of lost, and I think we had, a like, a lunch to go to mm-hmm. with the cast, and we ran into Ian and Anthony. Okay. Perfect. We'll run with them, you know? <laughs> but as we're in the hallway – Katie Couric sees Ian and Anthony. Oh, she no. didn't care about who the f- we were. Like, who would, you know? And- I, I just want to add, when we ran into Ian and Anthony, it was like one of the moments where you're in a hotel, so there's all hallways, and then they connect. Mm-hmm. So we're coming, like, down one hallway and go this way to go this direction, yeah. and they're coming this way, and they're like, no, 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 no. Like, go a different oh, way. Run, run, That's run. how we ended up together. It's like we weren't traveling to the lunch together. We ran into them as mm-hmm. they were running to try to find the service elevator. Because oh, okay. cer- then you go a different for way. The, yeah. For the few viewers who are, are out there that might be what the hell is an Ian and Anthony, uh, oh, they sorry. are the creators of Smosh, yeah. which is yeah. a, a legacy channel that's been around for 20 years mm-hmm. uh, yeah. at this point. Uh, huge, one of the biggest channels and continues yeah. to be. Mm-hmm. And legitimate B list celebrities. Yeah. And I mean that wholeheartedly. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> wholeheartedly. Well, legitimate. Yeah. And not, and not even a, it's not a bad term. No. Just, yeah. I'm down on like the L list. And, you know, A list is, no. we're talking Brad Pitt's. I'm stuff. on a D. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so for that's the context. These guys are huge, and you guys were the new cast that they brought in. They'd never had other cast members before, and mm-hmm. you guys were kind of just thrown into the fire that was the the wake of their celebrity. At the yeah, time. Mm-hmm. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So we we ended up coming into contact with Ian and Anthony. They're like, okay, come with us to the the situation, to the luncheon or whatever the luncheon that we had. The luncheon. The luncheon. It was a luncheon. <laughs> It was a luncheon. Okay. <laughs> Warm beer, sausages <laughs> round the neck. It was a luncheon. Oh my god! But as we're sweaty like, meat and cheese. Yeah. Yeah. As we're going to the service elevator, we run into Katie Couric and her team. Mm-hmm. And no, you should take over from this point because this is because Ian does not remember it this way. Mm-hmm. But like you should tell you know, it this the way is that we how remember. I, it. Yeah, this is how we both remember it mm-hmm. and how we choose to believe that it exactly <laughs> went because we all know memory is infallible. And so Katie Couric and two people on her team come, and one of the team members say like, "Oh, that's Ian and Anthony uh, from Smosh," something to that effect. So she stops. She's like, "Oh," and then she's like, "Oh, hi, nice to meet you guys. I'm Katie." And obviously they were like, "Oh," and like. I don't know about your face, but I was like, that's Katie Couric. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, and so they maybe ex- exchanged like 10 seconds of words before uh, someone on her team, they had a bottle of wine and then glasses. Oh, and he was like, oh, do you want to like come and like talk with us? We'd love to chat about the industry and stuff like that, you know? Wink. <laughs> we wanted to go. <laughs> I was not in a relationship at the time. <laughs> We were trying to see what was up. You guys trying to touch Turk. <laughs> God damn. Let's not, let's not even put it out yeah, there no, like that. That was that never was, going to never ever. That, it was, it she was. would have called the police. <laughs> okay. But yeah, and essentially, bleep out the restaurant when I say it, okay. but essentially the line was like, oh, no, we can't. We, we got to go to mm-hmm. And then they like waved for us and then we left. And I don't know if they knew at the time or like there's a lot going on, mm-hmm. but just the idea that it was like Katie Couric just invited us back to her t- hotel room to talk shop <laughs> mm-hmm. with wine and her team. And you said, no. sorry, we can't. We got to go to. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and even blur my mouth. I don't yeah. want people because it'll yeah. really it'll start a thing. Yeah, but so I just think enough. that's so funny. And I choose to only ever remember those scenes of it. <laughs> that's yeah. how I remember it, too. Mm-hmm. I wanted to go hang out with Katie. Yeah, that's such an internet celebrity uh, yeah. thing to do because that she's so old media, mm-hmm. right? And they're they they were the the kings of new media at the time. Yeah, mm-hmm. new media doesn't care. No, no. no. Yeah. I wouldn't have been surprised if you told me they didn't know who she was. Yeah, I, honest to God, that's probably the most badass thing I've ever witnessed in my life. When I think about truly, just like some movie level, shit. like when 
not even that it was like villainous or negative, but you yeah. know, like the Joker burns the pile of money after he got it all. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they just w- said no. Yeah. yeah. And they I was like, damn. Harm. Yeah. No yeah. harm by it. Yeah. So are earnest. So are, yeah. cause they, she could have contacted them at any other time. You know, yeah. like really, it's not even, they don't, they meant her. nothing. Yeah. yeah. Really. The, the it was so cool. Champagne and glasses detail <laughs> is so funny. Yeah. That, that, that's, <laughs> let me be very clear. It was not weird. <laughs> no, no, in no way was, they really were like done with their day. Yeah. You know, she was like, mm-hmm. oh, I've been wearing heels all day we're like going oh she was humaning yeah yeah you know like it's on the same floors of you know they got like a two bedroom thing probably like a door connect you know like her and her team Mm. are just gonna talk for an hour and then go to sleep that's the question then did she was did she feel human did she feel cool oh incredibly she she did she's great at her job i think that's why she's uh as successful as she is because she'll probably bring the best you know she makes you feel very comfortable i was like oh she's chill she's nice and seems kind yeah very kind that's my only question that i have with people that meet celebrities these days like oh "Oh, yeah i met dave Grohl. oh i met uh freaking brad pitt i met Mm -hmm. angelina jolie my first question is were they nice yeah Yeah. they kind to you and did you feel like good talking to them as humans (laughs) yeah and to answer like your robot. second, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say to answer your second question, Joe, she was incredibly sexy. Yeah, so oh, sexy. Wow. I, I bet you she was. <laughs> so beautiful. She really is beautiful. But yeah. sorry, that was a joke. What, my question for like when people meet celebrities are how tall are they? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, were they tall? Uh, <laughs> truly. You, you got to look at the shoes and then they're kind of like where, because everyone wears lifts who's short but wants to pretend like they're tall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can see if you see their full body and you see them walk, you can see it. My true second yeah. question usually is, did they have big head syndrome? Because I have a theory that most, and you can, you can look at it, most celebrities that you meet in real life have massive domes. Yeah. No, that's a, it's a clear fact that actors usually have bigger heads, and it's because you need your head to look good mm-hmm. on camera, which is at different focal lengths, but also different sizes, yep. and just generally bigger expressions. Just what it is. Yeah. Exactly. Keith, did you have one that came to mind? What? A story? Oh, so Noah and I... Um, like we get along really well. Okay. Um, we always have, but like Noah sometimes like we'll argue, which Noah, is good. Noah likes to call it a, de- a debate. Mm-hmm. Okay. But like, um, like I'm somebody who likes to argue, I guess, mm-hmm. and he likes to debate. I mean, whatever way you want to pull it or say it, whatever. The f- and um, I remember one time after Sacramento, we used to fly up to Sacramento every two weeks to um, film like sketches. And um, we were on the back of a like the plane, right? Mm-hmm. A Southwest and flight. I don't remember what was Southwest. <laughs> Shout out to all those points. It got me home a few times for free. <laughs> um, we were talking about something, and I like we had a long day, so I had a little drink. You know, um, you were. You think did you? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were on the so, plane. I think they even gave you a free drink because I, I yeah. think we had business. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like, bro, the business. Absolutely, it's business. <laughs> so we are decompressing. <laughs> I'm home. It's business. We're decompressing. Don't know what the conversation was, but it started to get heated, and we were just going back and forth. And yeah. I, the the Courtney and uh, Olivia, the two girls in the cast, they were in front of us, but they could hear us going back and okay. forth. Mind you, there's another story I have right after this. You guys are okay. stuck on a plane. Mm-hmm. You're stuck right next to each other. Yes. And where we Woo! we usually mm-hmm. our tickets were way way in the back. Yeah, yeah. Or at least you could sit Not wherever tickets, you want. You can sit wherever you want. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we'd always sit in the back. Well, because number one reason, fifty one percent survival rate if you're behind the wings. Oh, everywhere else is below fifty. And also, we would go to Bob Hope, so we had a way to get in the back. off the back. Yeah, yeah. Oh. off the back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I did an episode of Epic How Two about that about yeah. how to survive a plane crash. Oh my <laughs> god. I think that might be where I learned it. Might have. Well, yeah. well speaking of the <laughs> planes crashing so me and Noah are going back and forth and he was just like and it was just getting to the point it was, he's like I just wish this plane would crash <laughs> <laughs> holy <laughs> shit and I said, why would you say that? He's You're on like, a list. Uh, You're on so many lists. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, I was like, why would you say that? Like, now I'm pissed because he just said that. And I don't like, I didn't want to think about a plane crashing. <laughs> but he was over my shit and I was over his at that point. And the girls are just listening, just like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? They Talking were laughing, yeah. I think I think they might have even tried to film some of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. There's another time where we got into an argument. But that was really <sighs> funny. In hindsight, I laugh at that because it was just like, I know the type of person Noah is. He didn't actually mean it. But... No, because you were – I don't remember what, what we were even, like, talking about. But it was something where you were like, you can't just, like, say that. And I was like, what do you mean I could say anything? You're like, no, you just can't, like, say certain things. Because, like, if you say it, like, I don't like to say it because, like, that energy's out there. And I was like, what do you mean the energy? He's like, it was yeah. something like that where I was like, well, I just f-ing hope this plane would crash. <laughs> <laughs> crash it right now. He's like, oh my God. 
<laughs> that's, the back such of the plane. A, that's such one of those married couple yeah, that's moments. One hundred percent. Like you don't want to have the conversation anymore, so that's your out. Yeah. Just like <laughs> I'm just gonna crash this car. Yeah. <laughs> Sharon, we're both going right now. <laughs> oh my god. So there was this other time we were filming and um and uh, Beverly Hills, Noah. There's a bench, and a bench has like space. Bench. A bit, a bench. Sorry, oh, who are you calling a bench? It did sound it like, sounded you said like bench. it sounded like a I was bitch. gonna be like, no, 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 you're the bitch, and I'm the asshole. That's how it works. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Well, there was a bench at this park, obviously. Um, Noah, there was a lot of room. I think the girls at this point are standing up. Mm-hmm. Were they sitting down? They had, they were, so there's like a row of benches. They were long. Each bench yeah. might be like, you know, it's obviously meant for two people, mm-hmm. right? Long benches, mm-hmm. and there may be space like six feet apart, and there's like five of them across like yeah. the gate. So, me being me, sometimes I like to just be, you know, not so close, you know, like to have my own little space. Noah decides to sit right next to me on the bench, <laughs> like right next to me. And I'm like, hey, like, you know, there's more room. <laughs> And this is, like, young Noah, too. So Noah's just, like, he's, like, little bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he just, like, sits next to him. He's, like, cute little. Just, like. And I'm, Up like, and you know there's more room. And he's just, like, so, like. <laughs> and I'm, like, could you move? And he was, like, no. <laughs> Whoa. He said no. And I. He was taking a stand while taking a seat. <laughs> when I tell you. My heart, I thought I was gonna fight. Yeah, <laughs> that shit it was, was funny. It like my heart, I was like, oh, he is trying me right now because there's so much space on both sides that he could like have his own space, I could have mine. He was like, no, I said, no, I really I think that's disrespectful that you would like, you know, really trying to talk through it, but I am shaking on the inside. And he was like, no, like, I'm not gonna move, and like, and he wouldn't move. The girls recorded that one. Yeah. yeah. The girls recorded <laughs> yeah. that one. And it's so funny when we looked at it. Courtney he sent it to me like a while after. <laughs> and we have forgot that happened. <laughs> but he was just like, I was straight up just like, yeah, man, like I, like, I just asked you to move and you're not going to move. <laughs> and he's just like, no. No. <laughs> no, do you remember this? Oh, 100%. What was your thinking with it? Were you trying to, like, egg him on? I sat down on a bench, and <laughs> then I, I mean. was told to move. <laughs> Bro, I'm just as tired as you. We're in the sun. No, uh, there was You're room. trying to no, – this was also the thing. You were, like, trying to tell me that you were, like, about to be, like, laying on it or something. <laughs> I don't like, know what the hell. Like, like you were sitting there, and then I sat there, and you were like, bro, there's, like, more space. Well, like, now I can't, like, lie or, like, do it. And it's just like, dude, if you want to lie, like, go to that bench. I took a seat. <laughs> it's like, no, why would I want to go to that bench? I sat here, and then you sat down. And I'm like, I did. Keith's just getting upset. He's like, I wish this plane would crash. <laughs> yeah. No, it's definitely my fault. But I definitely was just, oh, yeah. you, you started, know what you, it is. You were like, I know you. You were just like, I'm taking a stand. You can't tell me what to do. Yeah, yeah. that's uh-huh. exactly, exactly what he was doing. Yeah. That's exactly mm-hmm. what he was this doing. Is, yeah, the but it was also logic fun. Was, yeah. <laughs> at, the end of the, at the end of the time, it was fun. And it was fun the whole time because you were having fun. <laughs> I was not having fun. <laughs> you were I you were pissed. engaged. No, I was engaged, but yeah. I was in, I was mad. It's and like engaged. a roller coaster. I was no. I don't you like. Were, and I don't like roller coasters. <laughs> you know what? You're I right. You're right. You do not like I roller was coasters. Pissed. Even hell. more fun. Putting oh, you on a roller coaster see, and you don't it, like it. That's it was even all more fun, fun at my expense. Like I was not having fun. It was. I, was like, I will admit it was I at thought, your expense. I truly kinda. thought I was going to lose a friend. That time. I apologize. <laughs> Holy crap. That shit was Over funny, one hundred percent. Over a bench. <laughs> oh, I yes. Asked nicely, and he said no. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's tough. We have. I'm not promising this to the audience. We have to see if we can get that video. Yeah, yeah of course we'll you might have it somewhere. Yeah, you might have it yeah. somewhere. I don't like that. I told you what I don't like. You did it anyway. You're making it difficult. Can you get out? No, that's rude. That's rude. I don't think so. I think it's rude. rude. Is not sharing. That's rude. That's rude. That's rude. Do you not? Did we never tell you about that? No, so funny. <laughs> not, oh, I don't think you were there at that shoot because that's also no. That was I think a Smosh Lab shoot that day. Yeah, Dang. yeah. You guys yeah. go do a lot of shoots. I'd be on some of them, mm-hmm. but yeah, a lot of uh, I was doing a lot of meetings. Yeah, you're. Yeah, man. Sorry about that. Yeah, but look, we had fun. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> um, I want to get to a couple last things here before we finish. Um, and we can be a little bit more serious if we want to. Gross. Okay. <laughs> Turkle. I have here. <laughs> Bro, how do I keep forgetting Turkle before you, like, you say it right when I forgot. Uh, right when I forgot. Brings it back. Uh, yep. Sorry. So good. Um, serious what Turkles. would you guys define as friendship? Because I think that that 
term gets thrown around a ton. Like, oh, these are my friends. These are my friends. Mm-hmm. But if you call somebody like a friend, what would you say that means to you? Uh, I think friendship is all about understanding. Um, sometimes it takes time to under, it takes a little bit of time to understand someone. It's not always like, oh, like this is my best friend from day one. It's like yeah. time. I feel um, helps that. I think friends are somebody who looks out for you. You know, when you're down and out, um, mm-hmm. who shows up for you, even mm-hmm. if it's for like ten minutes. Right. You know, nine. Um, nine. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we're supposed to be serious right here, no, Noah. Good. <laughs> oh, he says that's a serious nine. Yeah, <laughs> serious nine minutes. All you're getting. Um, yeah, like for me, I'll never forget Noah. When I got sick, there was like some issues that I was having, and I remember somebody looked out for me, and Noah felt like he was like, "Man, when you're happy, Noah was happy for me as if like he got what I got." Like, somebody had did something really nice. He was like, oh, man, it's about to make me cry. Like, I'm happy for you. Like, just truly happy. Um, I mean, there's so many different ways to look at it. I don't know, there you is. know. But you're, yeah. you've been a great Dude. friend. You've been I a great friend. That. I mean, Same you've team. been all right when you huh. – <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think respect. I think mm-hmm. intention is important. Mm-hmm. Uh, like honest mm-hmm. intention, even if like you're honestly upset, mm-hmm. it's just the fact that you're actually you know like yep. that's what's actually happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, communication, I think, is is key. Like we already talked about how if I can just sit in a room with you in silence, like that's yeah. great. Yep. But even communication through the rough spots, which you guys have, and I have it with a couple other friends, yeah. where it's like I'm just gonna tell you why you're pissing me off, mm-hmm. yeah, and we're gonna talk it out, and we're like mature enough to be like, okay, mm-hmm. and come to, and even if we don't come to an understanding, we understand that we didn't come to an understanding, mm-hmm. and we're and okay, okay with it, yeah, yeah. right. And we're just agree gonna move to on. disagree. Yeah, we were on set with Smosh the other day, and <laughs> the conversation, like, I think for certain people, they would think that we're like actually arguing, yeah, but for us, it's like, okay, you know, like yeah. he says, especially because like, no. the resolution is you just be like, oh, like you're just an asshole, and it's yeah. like, yeah, no, of course, that's like where we're starting from it's like i'm just an <laughs> asshole but like let's We're back to one <laughs> yeah but that's the like just like a legitimate conversation you know mm-hmm. yeah and just listening like listening. truthfully down to listen if it's like good bad sad yes you know? venting I, i've got a number of friends where we probably don't see each other as much as we want to mm-hmm. anymore especially as you get older you, mm-hmm. it's just how life works yeah. Yeah. but we're always on the phone i can call this person or he'll, he'll call me and we will be able to say anything talk yeah. about the angry the sad the venting and we'll be like hey do you have 10 minutes and yeah. we may not even do anything other than just let us verbal diarrhea our emotions yeah. out and i think for men if you can have that it's super important as well because really, yeah. and I, I don't know if it's as pr- a big of a problem for our generations as much as it is like the boomers and the ones that weren't able to talk like that yeah. i get emotional yeah. with my best friends yeah. we can talk about anything insecurities self-hate mm-hmm. you know all of it. Yeah. I think that's tough to find with guys, though. It's tough to find, at least for me, it's always been tough to find guys who are cool with talking about mm-hmm. more emotional yeah. stuff. Like, Kevin, tell me why you hate yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Where are you from? <laughs> Where am I from? Yeah. Orange County. Oh, that's oh, the problem bro, there. there. <laughs> Damn. That is the problem. <laughs> you, you know that you grew up with the cleanest water in all the United States? Wow. Yeah, Orange County has the cleanest water anywhere. I don't believe that for a second. It's 100% <laughs> the fact. Read uh, Dirty Read water. the Orange Seth County Herald. Dirty water. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the reason is because you have three filtration systems because you have like oh, yeah. ocean leach and a, it doesn't Interesting. matter. Yeah. They put bleach in their water? Ocean leaches bleach. in their water. Oh, yeah, it gets I'm all like... up in that black butthole. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. That water bee. This is one thing I will say. Noah usually knows like the weirdest stuff. Like he oh, read yeah. that somewhere and it's probably like accurate. I'll give him I, that. Shit, I hope so. The, like the only problem <laughs> no, the other, it, it the is. other week he brought, he brought up a conversation about Bruno Mars owing like $50 million. And I was like, bro, this does not sound good. <laughs> but Noah's like very cynical. He wants, it's situations like that that he's down for. And I'm like, bro, like why would the MGM release so, you know, like yeah. none of it made sense. I was but, like, bro, I just saw it. But what you're saying makes so much sense because he, he probably has money, right? <laughs> and you're like, yeah, he has a residency there. And I was like, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Do you, can I say this? Of course. Mac and cheese. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> It's so funny. Okay, okay, it's okay. like I'll find a way to work it into a stand-up bit. Yeah, it's so it's good. Just, but it will only play it's to so a black good. audience for it's, real. Oh, you guys absolutely. have code words. That was cute. <laughs> hey, bro, do you mind if I talk about <laughs> mac and cheese? Turkle? No, because it's, <laughs> it's about mac and cheese. It's truly about mac and cheese. I'm, I love mac and cheese. Mm. All types of mac and cheese. Like, you know, some mac and cheeses are 
wax like craft. He mm-hmm. loves craft. I am um, old, I fucking love craft. But <laughs> but Noah but Noah hates black people making cheese. <laughs> It was a joke that no, we were no, trying. No, no, no. I'll explain it. Yeah, he yeah, just yeah, said yeah, a yeah, sentence yeah, yeah. that can be edited in the worst way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, no, this is the thing. Y'all, y'all better not come for my dog because I'm going to explain it because this is the conversations that we have. And I knew exactly what he meant when he said it. So, Noah, if you know Noah, Noah does not eat food regularly. He, like, eats, like, pasta noodles. Um, but, um, he eats very dry food, just very bland. Okay. Very, butter and noodles. Yeah, yeah like butter that. and noodles, right. Um, so Noah doesn't like a lot of textures, or he doesn't like three cheeses. And black people, we use like three cheeses. Dude, five cheeses, big noodles. <laughs> now he added five, okay. So Saltines trying- on top, extra crispy, nah, uh, uh, golden, beautiful. <laughs> but the taste he does not like. Damn. But then he has the nerve to say, but craft, I can eat it all day. <laughs> So white. <laughs> it's yes. so Open white. Open up that powder, <laughs> dump it in, stir it, Love put it in the microwave for 215. Right. You're doing it the wrong way, Joe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You just made some shit back and cheese. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I put the, I put the powder in before there I microwaved, and that was not. You didn't even add milk, no butter. Uh, Use the microwave. It is craft. <laughs> oh, my God. I have a question for everybody here. Not for you, I already know. Do you guys like black people mac and cheese? <laughs> oh, yeah. That sounds am- – what you described, absolutely. Have you ever been yeah. to, like, any, I, like, good I haven't been to, like, a cookout place? or anything like that. No. It just sounds oh. like fancy mac and yeah, cheese. It yeah, it sounds 100%. fancy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's definitely fancy mac. Yeah. Anytime <laughs> you put mac and cheese in the oven – and use that to bake it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, I'm yeah, no oh. go. When my mom Damn. made mac and cheese, did you like hers? She did. She doesn't do three cheeses. I think that's why I liked it. She still had the big noodles. Mm. I think she still. It was still like a little extra wet. See, I don't like the texture of how when there's a big noodle, it's full inside. You know what I mean? Mm. How like when you bite into it, now it's gushing out both sides. This like you don't like a you don't noodle? like that. Don't like it. You're not okay. a sauce guy. No, I'm not a sauce guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and you guys are still best friends. Yeah, Aww. it's great. It's crazy because I told him, I, well, I don't like white people mac and cheese." Yeah, and it's like, yeah, that's it's the cl- clearest day. It's clearest day to understand that. I think. I hope. All right, let's get on to this last segment. Do you guys know about a word from Anthony? A what? A word from Doesn't Anthony. Sound like you? He's do. got one word. Anthony. You know Anthony, right? Our line yeah. producer here. I don't know yeah. this word. What is his what, word? Turkle. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does he have, like, a tattoo of one word that we're supposed to know about? Like, every time he said, I never noticed, but every day he's like, have a heavenly afternoon. Oh. This mac and cheese, heavenly. (laughs) That's the word. Anthony, at the end of every podcast, gives us a little words of advice of anything. Oh, my God, I feel like I'm on PBS or something. Exactly. It's um, next level. Sometimes he rambles, and sometimes, sometimes it's quick. Genius. Wait, we got mail. Keith, we got mail. <laughs> is that from Blue's Clues? That is. I loved that shit. Man, okay. could you imagine if Anthony was the host of Blue's Clues? Oh, my gosh. You Would just, that be okay make for this children? Happen. Dude, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah Maybe. Anthony works here. <laughs> I don't, I'm just asking. I don't know what his version looks like. <laughs> like salt and pepper come up. He's like, no, I don't fucking, I don't, I don't, get out of here. I don't deal to do with salt. do like a parody sketch <laughs> yeah. of that. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, here we are. A word from Anthony. Also, Diet Coke is better than Coke Zero, but I know that a lot of people don't think that. Um, my husband is addicted to... Coke Zero, kind of like, I mean, I, I like Coke Zero now because like it's always in the house, but Diet Coke, like just like three sips a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're here. It's a word from Anthony. And we're talking about pop, but really we're talking about friendship. Um, let's talk about the difference of friendship, like moving from Chicago to LA for a second. Oh my goodness, he like let the Chicago so out in it. Making friends in Chicago is way easier. Maybe, maybe I mean, because I'm just like from there, but I feel like you really have to like try to make friends in LA because it's like so spread out. Mm. And like people are like, oh, let's grab coffee. It's like, that means that you actually don't want to hang out with me. Um, it's just so, especially <laughs> growing up, like growing older, it's like so even harder to make friends. Like you so are hard. so not about the bullshit. I don't, I know zero bullshit. Hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Like you either we're doing this or we're not. What age do you think that hit for you? Yeah, like 25, I'm kind of over everyone's opinions of anything. I'm doing this life for myself. 30, 
like another like notch off the bullshit bell and then turning 35 <laughs> was like probably like the last pokey i'm like charizard now like <laughs> breathing fire on everyone the final <laughs> level like <laughs> your bullshit <laughs> and once you hit 35, like, there's nothing else to look forward to, so it's fine. <laughs> now you're just, like, oh. balding and fat and... Oh, yeah, um, it's I love and Keith. So Oh, my God, I have much. one. I have a... I'm, I, I'm feeling really petty um, today, <laughs> so I want to ask, who on this the React you cast is your favorite person to film with? Besides each other, let's hope. Yeah, besides each other, because that's a given. And it can't be any other Smosh folks, because I feel like mm-hmm. we have some other Smosh folks sprinkled in um but i want to get the juicy details Ooh, and you have to answer bitch. honestly or i'm not approving your payroll <laughs> <laughs> a word That's from anthony <laughs> okay can i have like multiple yeah can go I have, ahead uh, i have a few okay way to way to you know make it safe <laughs> no not not even like because i'm just going off of the the most fun that i had like filming here like i have fun filming with everybody that's me playing it safe mm-hmm. but but you I, also truly do. I've been in them. Like, I yeah, truly yeah, have fun. Like, cool. straight up a good time. Yeah. Um, but what comes to my mind, Jahir? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys you guys had an electricity mm-hmm. together. Yeah, it's, it's we're black. <laughs> and then, You're black? Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Benison. What the f- <laughs> So we have Jahir. We have Benison. Like, Benison is the homie. Like, mm-hmm. straight up. We have a good time. And then I have one more that I love. And, like, Haley. <laughs> because right after I, like, got had my surgery, I came in. <laughs> this is so good. Dude, Haley's real. She's yeah. so real. She's straight to the book. Like, great. And she, I, I came in. I, I was like, yeah, I just had surgery. She said, oh, wow, we're surgery sisters. <laughs> and after that, I was like, got you. Oh, oh, um, um. Izzy? Izzy. I'm like, I'm yeah. trying to list. I'm like, yeah. yeah I'm, in Izzy. my brain, I'm like, everyone else you haven't said. Yeah, yeah. So I was like starting. I was like almost really? alphabetical. Izzy, but uh, I don't want uh, I don't want to be like, not that Izzy. But, <laughs> but like, because I love everybody. But mm-hmm. the, you know, which Izzy am I talking about? I don't know how I, to. I wish I knew you, the last name. There's Izzy Roca and then there's and Izzy, Izzy, Izzy Mon. 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 Yeah. Izzy Mon. Izzy Mon, yeah. She's Izzy fun. Iman. We have Iman. 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 Okay, yeah. Okay. We have a lot of fun, too. Like, I mean, really the other fun. Izzy is dope, too. Yeah, they're right? both But then we're taking genius. Chance's answer. Yeah. Because yeah. her and Chance are, like, legit best friends also, yeah, yeah. like, before yeah. any of I love, I've, I've actually hung out with other Izzy. They, her and Chance came to my house, yeah. like, before I even, like, started coming here mm-hmm. again. So, Dude, so. she's definition of a she's good time. She's dope. She made that cameo in Smosh, and I didn't even know she was in it. And I was like, Izzy? Yeah, She's I so saw good. her. She showed up at like a all hands meeting, and I was like, "Oh, what's oh. up?" And she was like, "Oh yeah, I played like hot girl." And I was like, "Of course you." Are did. we doing? They're doing that again. It was a spoof in the in the, I think their latest food battle. I think it was. They were spoofing, spoofing themselves. They were playing. Yeah, yeah, they're parodying themselves. So they had a hot girl again, like they used to a mm. decade ago. Oh yeah, yeah. I love all of those people. Yeah. Wonderful. No, any dope. any other ones? Uh, you can't pick me. Oh, well, yeah, but I was gonna add, but I guess like to alt on the answer and then flip it to like producers. Do it. Like, mm-hmm. Abby is great. Bobbin is great. Kimmy is great. Nicole is no, great. Ash is great. great. <laughs> I know, but, like, these people legitimately, like, you have so much fun working with them. But, yeah, I guess, you know, let's start out there. We'll go alphabetically, but also, like, <laughs> Abby. I fucking love Abby. Abby's hilarious. Did you also, know his accent's fake? Yeah. I feel, I you're it lying was. to me. I swear no. to God, he's you're so lying 100% to me. You're such a fucking Michigan. liar. Mm-hmm. You're such a fucking liar, and I know you're like you're not going to convince me of that because I know he's not. Because I, I talked to you don't know I, him. I talked to him about him and his wife. Yeah, he's I, a fucking liar. No, dude. I know, I know a bad Jamaican accent when I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> As bad. All right, y'all. That's a podcast. That's Woo! a podcast. Uh, Thank you, Noah and Keith, yes. for gracing us. Mm. Do you guys have a PO box? We don't. Should we okay, get one? Okay, need to get one so that someone somewhere at some point can just, the smallest, just a crocheted Ooh. hat. It needs a, a, a wool hat. There's a snail sort. on the table and it needs a hat, guys. Sorry. Let's get one. I ruined your outro. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. Leave a review on Spotify, Please. Amazon, Do Apple it. Podcasts. Even Helps. if you're watching on YouTube. Go over there. We know these call outs are white noise by this point. It's been 20 years of subscribe. Go do that thing. We know. (laughs) May I generate the review? Yeah. No one cares. Yeah. We just need you to go there and press a button so this thing exists. Yeah. And (laughs) while you're at it, AI generating things, go into the image, use Dolly, and type in Turkle. Yes. See what happens when you come up with Turkle. What'll come up? Oh my God.
send God. send your turkle pics to our uh, Instagram <laughs> no, account. Not. Who even knows how to spell it? <laughs> all right, thank you all. Bye. Bye. There's so many funny jokes I want to make about it, but I'm not allowed to. <laughs> like, oh, I've can, got so many good words in my mouth me, right now. You can, <laughs> you can no. call me after. <laughs> I'm down I'll just here. start texting you. <laughs> no, because you don't want it there. Just You might make me mad. Then I'm like, guys, he said this. <laughs> so don't send you any more nudes? <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Those are fine.